Okay, I'm back where I was. That's the rock that sent me into space. I'm just going to go over here and hopefully not get sent back up again. Okay, I am fine. Woof. That was scary. Oh, God. <laughs> I love it when uh, a glitch happens on screen. It's so rare that I can actually re record one. Okay, um, let's have a look around here. Oh! What the fuck's going on? This game really glitchy. Like, it popped into existence and then disappeared and then came back and then started attacking me. It's like trying to decide if it wants to exist or not. And this is a middle path that I was on. I'm just going to see if there's any loot. I do not think there is. Okay. Alright then, let's carry on. So the beacon's pointing over there. Oh, hey, go. Jesus, Garrus. You scared me coming out of the fog like that. I thought you were behind me, but you must have been in front the entire time. I never knew. Mining. We've already established this, Garrus. Fall back now. Evacuation shuttles are on the way. Anyone at the gathering site when the shuttles arrive will be left here with those damn books. Let's activate that, and that's all the way up there. That seems ages away, but uh, I, I believe they do like an optic illusion with this one. It always seems like uh, the, the next site is ages away, but it's actually quite close. As uh, for the bugs that we're fighting, these like devil bugs. Um, I, I believe, just from what they look like, that there might be adult versions of those little tiny creatures that we see all over the place. On like every planet ever. And there's also a dragon. That's cool. I'm happy with that. Dragons are awesome. We'll actually see more of those creatures in Mass Effect 3. Which is weird, like we don't see much of them in this one. This is just... It's weird how I'm just trying to think of like the development process for that. So they've teased an, a creature for Mass Effect 3 and Mass Effect 2 without you actually fighting it. You're all gonna die. You can see why they call them devil books, because they've got like a devil face and, and two giant horns on the head. I can't get any more voucher from Omega. Garm has his own problems. You're going to have to man up and deal with this on your own. Maybe build a beacon path. I bet those damn Vorcher are just wandering off into the fog and getting lost. Oh, how there. You gonna die? Oh, that's right, I don't have an ammo power equipped because it's a new gun. So it's hard to tungsten ammo. Right, so where's the beacon? Up there, so I can go left or right. I'm gonna go right, because there's some materials over there. I accidentally held X too long, so I swap my weapons. There we go. Right, so now this is the only path we can take, and it goes up to the next beacon. That's fine. Now we're above the fog. I can see more clearly. Now the rain is gone. Uh, anything else? This okay. Here it is. That's all the way up there. And down we go into the fog once more. Okay. Anything around? It's, it seems quite linear. I always thought it'd be more open than this. No, it's kind of a. Bad thing that they put that reticule around um, enemies, you know, showing that you that that's not the one you've targeted. So if you use an ability, that's what that's what your ability will attack. It's a good thing that that, that it's there, just to show you that uh, that's what you're going to attack. But it kind of ruins it in moments like this when the enemies are meant to be hidden in the fog. And there's blood pack. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! Fuck off! Damn it! There we go. I missed this gun, it's so powerful. So yeah, we saw a day pad earlier that they were worried that the Vorture were wandering off and getting lost, and it seems like they did and set up a like a little little camp to defend against the bugs. So I believe there's a path to my left that will take me back round to the previous beacon, but I'm gonna check it to see if there's any resources or any paths that I've missed. And yes, there is, there's a data pad. Where are the resources? Are you mining out there or standing around waiting for those Vorture to get smarter? Our guy on Ilium can't keep the lights off forever. You start stalling, you, you keep stalling and we'll have a hell of a fight on the way in. And that will make me really, really angry. 
Interesting. And I don't think there's anything else, so let's move onwards. I believe we're nearly there. Yeah, that's where we're going. So it's just on the other side of these cliffs. And that's it, yeah. So this is, I like this, it shows you where we've been. So we started there, went all the way up and round. And it seems like it's, it, like I said, it feels like an optical illusion because it looks way bigger than uh, what we actually thought on. But it might just be because we're getting a, a view from far away, like a bird's eye view. I can hear fighting. Okay. Oh shit, they were waiting for us. Alright, um. Yeah, he's got armor garris, so that's not gonna work. Now it'll work. Okay, that was a bit weird, he just collapsed, he didn't go flying backwards or anything. Ow. There we go, they're all dead. Now, something I did on my Paragon is go straight for the terminal, but I'm just going to see if there's any resources, and there's no resources, that's brilliant, so it's just activate the terminal and get the fuck out of here. Okay, are we activated it? What is going on? doesn't actually say what we did. Yeah, we found a new alien species, which should have actually been a bigger deal, if you ask me. We eliminated the blood pack forces, but nothing nothing else. Okay, any messages? Yes, there is. Blood pack facility detected. Um, okay, uh, we have decrypted and analyzed the data you recovered from the relay on Tariff. The resources mined on Tariff were being sent to Zabadap... <laughs> Zada Ban. Presumably for use in weapons manufacture, it's clear that the Blood Pack is planning to a large scale invasion. Disrupting the operations on Zada Ban, oh, Jesus Christ, will go a long way towards delaying or preventing this invasion. And I did not, god damn it. I did not mark it as red, so I don't read it twice. Anything new, Kelly? Is there anything I should Nothing, know? Nothing cool. Else, be right then, I, I believe we just have to go to Ilium now. No, uh, recruit some new crew members. Oh no, nope, I was in the middle of searching a galaxy. Alright, well, we just did Tariff, didn't we? Well, I'm gonna scan the galaxy and we should end up at Ilium. Let's do this. Let's go to Ilium and have a look around first. What I want to do is recruit the two new uh, crew members and then do the other missions. First, let's actually just take a wander around Ilium to see what we can find. Garrus and Jack, let's go. This is a warm welcome. Armed guards. Aren't they Cerberus mechs? Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. I was concerned for a moment. That's a lot of firepower for a friendly welcome. Expecting trouble? We're the gateway to the Terminus systems, Commander. That element of risk requires greater security. Liara Tassoni vouched for your conduct and paid all fees you would normally incur. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. Cool, thanks for your help. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Custom 
Customs records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. Right then, so I have to speak to her regardless. company or walk down the wrong alley and it's as dangerous as anywhere else it's no safer here than Omega that's comforting thanks Garrus 25 sell at 20 right, so these are like one of the stores now what can I talk to check about lots of money here soft people who make good victims they're not soft they're unconcerned they only flaunt what they can afford to lose that's interesting. Oh, hi there, John. Holy crap, Shepard. I thought you were dead. I was. It's a long story. Shepard, the news said you were dead. What happened? No, wait, probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You screwed over my corruption investigation of Administrator Analeas. Oh, All right, yeah, I did. I didn't really have a choice. I needed to... Ah, I had a mission to do. And the mission comes first. I was worried about bigger problems at the time. Saren was trying to destroy the galaxy. No kidding. And using our labs for his experiments. Man, we caught some heat over that one. Anyway, I eventually got Analeas fired for screwing an Asari tax inspector, so it worked out. Have a seat. You can buy me a beer. What brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. I can talk about nothing. It's classified. Nothing I can talk about. No offense, but Novaria was dealing with the enemy last time. Damn, you're a hard ass. I'd forgotten that. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've got to go. Talk to you later. And don't forget to drink your beer. Well, that's not suspicious. Shepard had to leave. Target saw me. Couldn't break cover. Uh, sorry, merchant smuggling somatics from Novaria. Can you talk her into showing you the good stuff? Uh, let's give this renegade thing a try, shall we? Welcome. You look like someone who needs high quality equipment. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. This stuff might be crap. How do I know this stuff is any good? You're an Asari. Maybe your stuff is no good for humans. I carry nothing but the best. I offer a money-back guarantee. That doesn't help when I'm dead due to equipment failure. Look, I'm dropping too many credits to screw around here. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small discount. And when I get special items in, you can take a look. Uh, special items? What kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know, schematics, designs. Nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. Okay, so um, I've got to be renegade, so I'm going with the option where I just inform her that the police are watching her. An internal affairs agent from Novaria's try to catch you dealing with smuggled goods. Maybe I can get something out of this deal. Hell, thanks for the warning. I'm gonna get lost and remove some evidence. I'll program the kiosk to offer you a discount, though. Cool, like more of a discount, or? Am I gonna go next, Omega? Cool, discount. Let's do it. Right, so we have a lot of stuff that I don't use, which is nice. Tech damage, maybe. But I'm going to get everything this. anyway. There we go. And then let's go back to talk to Gianna. She's going to love us. Again, I asked for your help, and again, you screw me over. I don't know why I bother. Yeah, to be fair, you should have, like, learned from the first time. Alright, so we're going to go in this direction towards the bar. For the best tech and see what's there. I believe that's the start of Miranda's uh, personal mission there. And that seems because we don't have her with us. I don't think we can actually start it. And that's good because that's not what I want to do. I want to look around first. And then start the main missions. Or main missions, recruit some people. We'll There's a slave start broker. The hell? Oh, it's okay, I'll think of something. You said synthetic insights would buy me. You said it was an easy sale. I assumed they would want an AI tech. Hello, can I help you with something? Um, hmm. 
I don't remember this from a power gun let's play, but I'm a uh, renegade, so. Time for this. Fine, more power to you. Do I have to do that? You again. I'd hope to see a representative from Synthetic Insights making an offer for the quarry. What if I bought her? I bought her myself. I could let her go and everyone would be happy. A gallant offer with three problems. First, her technical skill merits a contract of several hundred thousand credits. There's also a fee for freeing me before my service period ends. Exactly. And finally, you are clearly a traveler. Her service contract requires that she remain on Ilium. I don't want them to take me off to a mine somewhere. I'm gonna help because if Renegade option is just to turn down a quest, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna do the quest the anyway. Rep and see what I can do. Really? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. All right, so that's the start of Miranda's personal mission. Oh, and here's the uh, in the rep right here. Why aren't they talking to each other? Can I help you with something? Uh, would you like a quarry? Like to get your hands on an expert quarry and AI programmer. If you'd like to submit a resume, I wait. Is this that slave? Synthetic Insights has no interest in purchasing slave labor. We're under enough scrutiny from the Citadel without engaging in practices the Council disapproves of. To be frank, we're hardly hiring anyone. The Geth attack on the Citadel didn't engender much love for artificial intelligence. You are prejudiced. I see what's going on here. This isn't about slaves. You just don't want to hire a quarian. What? But... But... Is it because you don't want to feed them, or do you just not like the suits? Synthetic Insights has a strict non-discrimination policy. We don't just hire indentured servants. Maybe I'll take this to Ilium's Trade Bureau just to be sure. Wait! Let's not do anything crazy. We don't want to waste the Bureau's time. Okay, fine. I'll go draw up a contract. Just leave Ilium's bureaucracy out of it. This Quarian had better be good, though. I wonder why I didn't get this mission on the Paragon Let's Play. Or maybe I'm just a complete moron and missed it. Regardless, at least there is a renegade uh, option for this mission. Synthetic Insights just sent over the contract. I cannot thank you. I don't need your fangs. I want your slave. I didn't do it for you. I did it for her. Regardless, a kindness to her is mine to repay. Here, for your trouble. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get this service contract transferred. Thank you. I'll stay out of trouble this time. Okay, cool. Anybody else I can speak to? The bartender? Welcome to Eternity. I'm Athena, sorry, matriarch and bartender. What can I get you? Just a drink. I'd like something to drink. Sure. I'll set up a tab at the drink kiosk. Knock yourself out. Literally, if you want. Just don't drink anything for Turians or Quarians. Does nasty things to your insides. One saw Krogan drink a liquefied Turian on a dare six or seven centuries back. Nobody came out of that one looking pretty. A liquefied Turian. Oh my god. All right, let's just go. Up the drinks. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. Cool. Let's buy a drink. A shot of liquor, a glass of wine, or a mystery drink. And what is it with video games and making really delicious looking food? Um, god, that looks awesome. And it's not a drink. That is not a glass of wine or a shot of liquor. Let's buy one of each, shall we? Alright, so... Barely any effect. Let's try a glass of wine. That does not look like a glass of wine. Wine is definitely not blue. At least not any wine I know, and... Still not drunk. You'd, you'd think like you'd be a little tipsy and it's going to be a bit blurry. Let's try the mystery drink, shall we? It's called a sorry piss. Right, well, let's see what this does. Yeah, there we go. That did it. Hold on to your livers. <laughs> that I liked. 